In our Crime Tracker report tonight, a neighborhood northwest of downtown is being overrun, they say, by crime. Like a shootout last week that left two people dead. And people there are fighting back. We're talking about Los Angeles Heights. It's off I-10 in the area of Fresno and West Avenue. News 4 WOAI's Patricio Espinoza takes you there tonight, where neighbors now have the attention of the police chief. There's no place like home. Who hasn't heard or used that phrase? But what happens when home turns into this? Just about a week ago, four suspects walked into this house. Shots are fired. Two are dead. This is Los Angeles Heights, minutes from downtown San Antonio. If they had two here and then they had two here on Fresno and I-10, yeah, you know, that's four yeah. within a week. So, yeah. you know, that's when uh, the neighbors are concerned. And like sure. I said, you know, we go out there sure. to, to see what's going yeah, on sure. with them, you know. Sure. And to assure them that, you know, that you will, or the police department will be here, yeah. you know, to, yeah. to, to help them out of whatever you know, problem. You know, you know the difficult thing with, with incidents like this is, you know, unless there's a police standing in that backyard, then nothing will happen. You, you know, <laughs> then you know it's not going to happen now. But yeah. maybe it happen at a later date. But but you know, we we try to deploy as effectively as we can to get as much coverage as we can. And the chief is right. Cops just cannot be everywhere. Richard Acosta is the president of the Los Angeles Heights Neighborhood Association. We have met just days before. This is a printout yes, sir. from the San Antonio Police Department mm -hmm. and News 4 WOI Crime Tracker. Mm -hmm. Wanted person, property lost, abandoned vehicle, burglary, theft, burglary. How does that make you feel? Well, this is a part of that that frustrates us. Everyone here is sick and tired of crime. And many ask, when is it going to stop? Well, stop waiting around for an answer. La gente, the people in this neighborhood, are fighting back. So if you come in here and you break into our neighborhood, we're going to call the cops and we're going to call them. We're going to call 911 and let you know that we don't want you here. You're out here every yeah. day. What do you think about crime in the area? Is it good, bad, getting bad. worse? It's bad. Why? I, I think guns here. Down, um, the lady on the church got attacked a few months ago. A man had come into the chapel. He hit me, uh, struck me three times and then took my purse and my prayer book and ran out the door. The suspect in the church attack is now in jail. But the question remains, other than dialing 911, watching each other's backs, dogs, or maybe additional security, what could neighbors really do? And what is the San Antonio Police Department doing? We learned about a plan from this candid conversation at a crime scene of the latest shooting. We're asking each substation to pick out four to five different hotspots and develop strategies to address those hotspots. Now, fighting back, Patricio Espinosa, News 4, WOAI. Crime Tracker is an important part of what we do, and we want to hear from you if you need help. Email us at crimetracker at WOAITV.com, or you can call us at 476 1070 